Small and medium enterprises contribute a third of the Kenyan economy and employ about 70% of the country's population. The government is keen to have small businesses supported more, given the role they play in the wealth creation process. According to the Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, who also chairs the Development Implementation and Communication Committee, large manufacturers could help mentor and support SMEs by, among others, contracting their services. Let's get out of the boardroom. You know, this, this is a good setup, but now we've done this many years, sitting like this. Now let's go to Chuakali, Nakuru. Let's go to the manufacturers where they are in Australia and sit with them and find out what we can do. Like someone told me the other day, if we invested in sorting out and fixing the railway infrastructure around in Australia, we will be able to support so many manufacturers. I think one of the things we have seen is that the credit to SMEs is a challenge in terms of the cost of credit, sometimes even the availability and access to that credit. So a lot of focus on SMEs and how we streamline business processes. We've made proposals, uh, even in our budget proposals, to support SMEs. Despite more large institutions freezing or reducing employment, small businesses have withered shocks to register more job creation. The Kenyan market is too small to grow a manufacturing sector and create the jobs that we desire as a country. So there's need for us to really become competitive so we can get into export markets. Uh, we are looking also at still the local market for uh, uh, government to really support in growing uh, both the SMEs within uh, Kenya. But we also want to take advantage of the AFCTA and look at markets like Europe and America and others where the purchasing power is quite high. Speaking during the launch of the 2020 Manufacturing Priority Agenda, the Kenya Association of Manufacturers Chairperson Sachin Gudka said enhancing market access for SMEs was one of the key pillars of the industry. On enhanced market access, Kenya needs to push for the finalization of the amendments of the, on the NTB Act, advocate for ratification of TFTA and AFCFTA by member states and fast track the finalization of an optimal EAC CET structure that will promote value addition and industrialization. We will be going to have meetings in rural Kenya where, the, where this work happens. I actually want to sit down and would like to go and sit down with your Kali people where they have certain challenges. And we've taken it upon ourselves. I can tell you, my friends. Dr. Matiangi said the government is creating a conducive business environment by establishing one-stop shops, which diminish chances of corruption and enhance service delivery. Sometimes there is a perceived disconnect between big manufacturing and small businesses, but with the upcoming Manufacturing Priority Agenda 2020, there may be some space for small businesses going forward throughout the year. Alan Aoko reporting for Channel 1 Business in Nairobi.